So this is the Carmelita Cloister Part 2. This is now in the refectory. And we have the history of the Carmelite monks painted on the wall of this refectory. So they would have been able to look at this and reflect on their history. So they claim to have descended from a group of uh, disciples of Elijah. So there's Elijah ascending to heaven in his fiery chariot. They become Christian and they start doing all kinds of good deeds, healing. You can read all about what they've done here in Kings. So if you want to, you can try and read this writing here. That actually says four Kings seven. Because back in the Middle Ages, that's how they made fours and how they made sevens. Again, if you can read Latin, everything about here is written up here in Latin. That was the, the language of the day. So this wall was painted in 1517. The Crusades came to the Holy Land and life was not pleasant for the Carmelite monks. We can see what's happening here. So life is so unpleasant that they asked the King of France to come and get them. So King Ludwig of France comes down to the Holy Land to Mount Carmel, picks them up and brings them up to Cologne, where he drops them off. And they slowly make their way down the Rhine River till one group gets here to Frankfurt around 1246, 1249. I don't think any of these pictures are very accurate. You know, they're painted 300 years after it happened. So here they have the Worthy Brotherhood of St. Anna, that's Mary's mom, let the wall of this refectory be painted in 1517. Again, we've got that seven. So here's St. Anna, Mary's mom, holding Mary and Jesus. There's lots of animals in this painting, deers and pheasants and um, just beautiful horses. I quite like this guy over here. Not the guy, but the horse. And they do use this room for all kinds of exhibits from the archaeology museum, so it is not always open. But if you're here, um, they do have the audio guide once COVID ends. Other than that, you have to come over here and try and read what's written here in German. Or you can book a tour with Frankfurt on foot. So this is Joe Ator saying goodbye, and I hope to see you again soon. Remember to like and subscribe.